and it works. Simple! Hooray! Four repeaters and 12 redstone. Okay, this looks tricky. Let's see if it is. Uh, we just need to get uh, this redstone block over there. Um, so what do I want? I want to unpower this piston here. That means I actually just want to stand here. And ah, it's a sticky piston. Hooray. So how are we going to put in a single pulse now? Ain't gonna tell me that this is going to work. No. Um, let's see. We only. Oh, we got repeaters. Ugh. The question is how do I create a very short pulse? Um, with only repeaters, somehow with locking repeaters, I guess. Let's just see what happens if I'm doing this. Obviously, it's just going to take longer till the piston retracts, and this is not going to work. Okay, how can I do this instead? Um, so what what we do need is a retracted piston, but an extended block. That means. We now need a uh, quick pulse. Um, I only can put the quick pulse through by this input line. And in order to do this, um, I need a falling edge detector, which we can do by. Um, Oh well, completely forgot how you uh, how you make them. So wait, this is not going to work. Uh, let, let me think about it for a moment until I figure out how to build a falling edge detector out of those repeaters only. Okay, this is it. Um, this is a single pulse. Just need some delay. Let's see what happens. Ta-da! Okay, uh, now the question is how do I power the other piston afterwards? With more redstone. Actually, I just need to update it because it was already powered. Let's see what happens. Uh, kind of works. Ta da! Okay. We got two levers this time, and this level contains some serious crazy stuff. This is never going to reach the door, right? No, two signals short. Um, oh, okay, so the only way to actually power this block there is to somehow move the redstone block over over to here with those pistons. Um, let's see, this is actually getting a little bit more tricky. That is cool. Mm -hmm. Right. Oh, 
Oh no, don't tell me that this is a stupid sticky piston. Um Okay, now I seriously need to hope that the airboard block updates first when I power this. Oh it did! Hooray. Um I actually need the third block to be in there as well. Wait. How how am I going to ever bring three blocks in there? That doesn't really Oh wait, don't need to. It's already in perfect spot. I just need to power the sticky piston here. And at the same time This is actually simpler than I thought. Whatever. Um, two redstone stacks and the redstone torch. Um, and I'm guessing I'm talking to less here to make it actually uh, very interesting. But I, having f a lot of fun, I'm trying to solve this. So let's see what happens over here. We can access another dropper. Hooray! And I guess this, those two droppers are actually pointing to into each other. That means um, uh, we just need to get a single item into this hopper here or oh, how many items we want and it's going to light up the lamp um, so in order to do this we only have a power source okay we just somehow need to power this are you kidding me? This is updating the dropper? Haha. Ha. Screw you. No, it's only... Apparently only updating the other one. Ah. Uh, that would have been too simple. Yep. Whatever. Um... So, the intended way is... Not that simple, let me just quickly see what happens when I do this. never going to fill in more than one because uh, it also fills in another one each time I'm doing this so what I go what I need to do is now power and unpower the other line Torch, please. Just need to be a little bit quick here. Why is this not updating the, the stupid dropper? Come on! I had trust in you. Okay, so... Actually, this does not make really a lot of sense. Uh, wait, it actually worked. Um, forget it. I just need to wait here pretty much and wait till this burn out, burning out torch dispenses enough items. Okay, we got the first stack in here, and we're almost done with it. D 
this way I can just force the torch to update. Ta-da! Okay, that was a pretty simple way once you got it. Okay, this time we got seven levers. Hooray! Uh, <laughs> hmm? Wait, what? Okay, so <laughs> seven levers is obviously not enough to get power level two into this uh, dropper here. That's otherwise would have been too simple. The question is, what's below this? I can't look inside. I can just try out what happens. And there is nothing happening. Make sure, maybe... There's actually nothing... Wait. Uh-huh, okay. Now uh, 14 levels enough to get power level 2 out of an... Uh, ...comparator when you only put in... Oh, uh, well, we'll see. Nope. Okay, so where do we get more items from? Uh, I'm pretty sure that that is... That there is, mm, there are no more levers in this hopper here, unless uh. so you're telling me that I'm one lever short here. Uh -huh. <sighs> Would be very nice if you could actually look inside. Okay, so I guess it's either exactly the same or exactly the opposite. Uh, everything else doesn't really make sense. Let's try uh, try out exactly the same pattern, uh, pattern as it would be over there. And I should probably just put levers at the side of the blocks, otherwise I'm not going to see um, if they are powered or not. Giving that lever back quicker. Okay, so we need to power this row, then those two, then this one, those two, and the last one. And nothing is happening, hooray! Or. No. Come on, this is a little bit unfair. I guess you need to read the hints to get in order to be knowing <laughs> what you actually want to do here. Um, or are those levers also powering something below? Because you can't really figure it out from over here. What is below this glass? Let's assume that it is the inverse pattern. Or did I actually do something wrong in with this one? Not really. Oh. Another point, uh, it could be that I need to actually power both lines. We never know. We'll see. Nope. Okay, let's try out exactly the opposite. There must be a hidden code uh, which levers are I need to power. Uh, or which gold blocks actually, not levers. Mm. No, okay. Um, I'm out of ideas. Okay, let me think one more time and if I can't figure out uh, which pattern is required here, I'm going to um, ask the hints. Okay. Well, 
I'm not sure, but I think I just should try out to, de to determine <laughs> uh, the which uh, there must be a way to somehow fi figure out uh, where there is a torch and where is not. And if you think about it, you can actually hear a hissing when y the torch burns out. So let's try out uh, and see what happens. Aha, uh -huh, okay. So we need to power this one. None over here. None over here. Aha, okay. None over here. You get the idea. Uh, let's see if this works. Hooray! It did. Um, this should be definitely uh, enough levers to get the power level on the comparator to 2. Yep. Hooray! Okay. I must admit that this was pretty tricky. Um, oh god. <laughs> That leans, looks like a lot of butt powering action. Um, <laughs> Do I actually need the whole circuitry for this? And I only get one lever. Oh god, this is going to take a while. Um, so first of all, let's see where do I need to move this golden block tour. We can get it over, then retract it and get it over here. So the question is how do I push this over one more block? I need... Uh, okay, this this is a sticky piston facing in this direction. That means I need to retract the sticky piston here. That means I... First of all, need to get this piston to this position here. That means I... Oh god, this is <laughs> reverse engineering at its finest. Um, okay, in order to get this piston over there, we need to move this piston to the right. To move this piston to the right, we need this piston over here to be at the side. And to move this one to the side, we need to move this piston here and to move... Okay. What am I going to do now? Because this is... Oh, wait. What? Whatever. This 
this is actually totally stupid. <laughs> oh, wait. Uh, I some messed up something. Ah, uh, seriously. Ah, uh, well, this was just pretty exhausting. Um, okay. Oh, this looks really simple again. Only three repeaters. Well, you ain't gonna tell me that this is the same setup as last time. Um, maybe... Ah, okay, so... Not quite. Let's see, how can we save the, the power level this time? This ain't gonna do much because <laughs> it's still unpowering itself. <laughs> Wait, we can actually save on a redstone. When we, we use the other wall there, which is probably too far away to be usable, but let's see. Yep, it is. Um, and actually, I can't really save on anything because it's two blocks. Forget it. Um, yeah, it can't be that that tricky. We just need a way to save. The redstone signal with three repeaters instead of two, but with less less wire. And I'm pretty sure that it is intended that you cannot just by directly build a memory cell and attach another one to it. Because... Wait, if, if I'm quick... Maybe. I, I want to test it out, but <laughs> I'm pretty sure that this is not the intended way. Uh, let's see what happens first. Um, okay. <laughs> okay, now we got it. Ta da This actually works. <laughs> okay, uh, whatever, I'm going to use this method now, although it is definitely not the intended one. But who cares? Ah! Okay. Why did I not get this into the first slot this time? Uh, let's try it again. And I know it's stupid. Don't need to tell me. Da, 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 da. Ah. Okay, this is not very reliable. Let's see, is there another method of doing this? I'm sure there is. Um, I will figure it out. Wait. I could just make it... No, no, wait. Uh, this, this is getting a little bit tricky. So 
So is there any good way of saving the current state of a, re of a repeater with a repeater lock somehow? Can't think of a really good method at the moment, but it's already getting pretty late for me, so maybe that is the actual issue. If I just had another redstone, well, then it would be too simple. Uh, we need, we will get it. We'll get there. I'm sure. This is the first level. I really must say, where I don't know what to do at all. Um, so we just need to figure out another way to save the signal here, and it ha must be, must have something to do. Ah, okay. Well, the idea I have at the moment is not really that incredible, but it is probably or could probably work. So my idea is I just actually did cut off the wrong redstone last time. Uh huh. Okay. Okay, this needs some more skills and some more tries, and then it's done. actually works. Okay. We are getting there. Now just don't lose focus. I wonder what the intended method for this is. But definitely something different. Um, okay. Wait, um, yeah, we just need to do it one more time. Ah, okay, finally. Wait, that was the last level. Hooray! Okay, definitely the hardest one. I agree. Woohoo! Nice. Nice little spawner feature here. Um, let me see what the hints do say about this one. Mm. 
Wait, that was actually an intended way? Wow, would have never thought about this. Cool. Hooray, so we made it. Hooray! Okay, um, that is awesome. And I must agree, okay, on which levels did I take the, adva uh, uh, the advice? Um, hmm, there was one level in the middle where I didn't know what to do. But the rest was actually... Okay, the last level was really difficult at the beginning, because you would have never thought that it was actually required to make it uh, some, some kind of quick time action in this, but it is necessary. Actually, it was necessary over here as well. Um. <laughs> yeah, I like it, but that's it. Thanks for watching and see you next time.